On to the fight to preserve our beautiful Florida coastlines. It's always evolving, and scientists now say that we have to get a better idea of what lies below the surface. And ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane is taking a closer look at new technology that could keep you, your family, and our Florida beaches safe. You may not think about what the bottom of the Gulf looks like, but scientists say it's what helps keep us safe. We're ground zero for the effects of sea level rise, high tide flooding events, storms, and other environmental hazards. And that's why USF scientists are using this remote controlled boat, along with satellite, laser, and sonar technology to get a detailed scan of the bottom of the Gulf Coast. Right now, using satellite imagery, we can see details of the bottom of the Gulf at about the size of Raymond James Stadium. But with this little boat, we can see details about the size of this dime. If you have your fish finder on your a normal you know, private boat, it takes one beam right down below the boat, right? This has a thousand beams. USF professor Stephen Morosky, who led a 10 year long study on the impact of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, is now director of the new Center for Ocean Mapping and Innovative Technologies program, or COMET. If we're going to try to predict um, where storm surges would be the most critical or most damaging, understanding both the height of the topography, which is the land base, and then the uh, depth of the water, the bathymetry, putting those together will allow us unprecedented predictions. Right now, Comet's first mission is mapping the coast from Johns Pass to the southern tip of Pinellas County. They even found this sunken ship. That is about 45, 50 feet long. Scientists say this new mapping is critical for boaters, new constructions, maintaining our coast, and our safety. It matters because coastal resiliency is a top priority for our state. In St. Pete, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.